For our teaching demonstration in Health 301 with Dr. Jenny, we decided to do Understanding Your Food Label. My name is Marissa Critchlow, and I also have Megan Kreibel and Derek Chafin in the same group. So our learning objectives is to, one, read a food label correctly, understanding the different serving sizes that are listed on each label, and then determining if the food is healthy depending on the nutritional information. So how do you read a food label? The first thing you want to look at is the serving size um, that is listed. That shows you the amount of food that you can eat to get the listed nutritional information below. The servings per container just lets you know the amount of servings that is in that bag or container as a full. So if you eat the full bag, you're eating eight servings. So you would take your nutritional information and multiply that by eight to know the exact amount. Number three is just your total carbohydrates. That lets you know the amount in grams that is in that serving size. Same with your fibers, vitamins, minerals, and proteins. It lets you know the amount in a serving size. And then calories, fats, sodiums, and sugar, just like your carbs and vitamins and minerals. The nutritional information is letting you know the amount in grams and micrograms that is in that serving size. Understanding serving sizes. A serving size is a standardized amount of food. It's usually one ounce, one cup, or one piece of food, etc. A serving size is not the recommended amount of food you should be eating, but it's based off of how much people typically consume. The FDA has been working to make serving sizes on the food labels more realistic to what people are actually eating. Healthy food is defined as food that provides you with the necessary nutrients to sustain your body's well-being and retain energy. Um, for a food to be claimed as being healthy or healthier, it has to contain smaller amounts of nutrients such as fat, cholesterol, and sodium. And the FDA has been focused on looking at the type of fat that's in food rather than the amount when claiming that um, a certain food is healthy or unhealthy. So let's see if you were actually paying attention. So we did talk about how to read a food label, but what is the first thing you should read on a food label? Is it the calories, serving size, total fat, or the cholesterol? The correct answer is B, serving size. You want to look at serving size first because this lets you know the amount of food that you can eat to get the correct nutritional information. According to the nutrition facts on the right, how many servings per container are there? Is it four, two, six, or nine? The correct answer is C, six. If you looked, it said serving size was six per container. So like I said before in previous slides, that is telling you that there are six servings per container. But obviously when you're looking at your serving size, you want to look at the specific for one serving. Next question, uh, healthier foods should contain less amounts of what? Is that protein, vitamin D, fiber, or the total fat? The correct answer is D, total fat. So with that, obviously, your healthier foods are going to have less fat. So you want to look for stuff that is high in protein, vitamins, and minerals, and then also your fiber. And then here are our references for our slides. And I want to thank you guys so much for taking the time to learn more about how to read your food label. Um, and I appreciate you guys watching.